10 Deals the Pawn Stars Couldn't Refuse. Hey everyone, and welcome back to The Screeny. Rick Harrison is a savvy businessman who's constantly trying to think with his head and not with his heart. But he sometimes gets carried away. Every once in a while, people walk into the world-famous gold and silver pawn shop with an item that's too good to be true. And that's when the Harrisons go an extra mile and do everything that's in their power to make it work. Well, let's take a look at 10 deals the Pawn Stars couldn't refuse. Before we remind you of some of the most epic buys in the history of this show, make sure to press the subscribe button. Number 10. Stolen Diamond Earrings the pawn shop owners stumble upon hundreds of stolen items in their lifetime, and they even end up buying some of them. This happens to be the best of them, including the notorious negotiator Rick Harrison, who was so dazzled by one pair of diamond earrings he couldn't tell the seller wasn't their original owner. In Rick's defense, the guy showed no signs of being a thief. He walked into the store, sharply dressed and well prepared, and even has the paperwork to prove the diamonds were real. Unlike some of the customers who show up without doing their homework, this man knew the real worth of the item he was trying to sell. He answered all of Rick's questions with ease and sealed the deal by showing the receipt. The pawn shop owner cashed out $40,000 for the earrings after he was sure that they were legit. Police came knocking on his door a few days later because it turns out the jewels were actually stolen. Rick had to return them to the original owner and describe this disappointing experience as the cost of doing business. Number 9, 1932 Lincoln Roadster. Okay, Uncle Phil. I have a 1932 Lincoln convertible V12. Um, yeah, that's a cool car. Yeah, it uh, is, yeah. Okay, just come around back. Well, okay, okay. Fine. Vintage cars were always the old man's biggest passions, and he couldn't keep his eyes off this amazing Lincoln Roadster from 1932. The classic vehicle screamed luxury, and it was in such great condition that Rick and his dad felt that they traveled back in time. The two men immediately knew that they're not walking away without making a deal, and they were ready to cash out an enormous sum of money in the process. Fortunately, the original owner cut them some slack because he was a huge fan of their show. The negotiations were pretty smooth and the Harrisons cashed out less than they expected after settling for $95,000. It seemed like one of the easiest sales they've ever made until the guy made one strange request. He wanted it to be paid in pure gold. Fortunately, the Harrisons stored huge amounts of precious metals over the years and finalized the sale without any hassle. Number 8. 1922 High Relief Coin Dozens of items featured on Pawn Stars proves the size doesn't determine their value, and this tiny coin is one of the most notable examples. Rick Harrison was ready to cash out $80 for this itty bitty trinket you could easily lose in your pocket, and for a very good reason. This precious item was one of 10 proof piece high relief dollar coins from 1922 left in existence. This shiny piece of mental went on one crazy journey before it ended up at the world famous gold and silver pawn shop. Its original owner never realized the value of this classic collectible and lost it in the poker game after he ran out of money. The customer who brought it to Rick had a lucky hand that night and eventually earned a buttload of cash thanks to the mysterious coin. After the pawn shop owner called in one of his experts, it turned out the coin was legit and Rick wanted it so badly he spent $80,000. Number 7. Stephen Stills' Gibson Guitar It was owned by Stephen Stills of the band Crosby, Stills & Nash. That is cool. I would absolutely love to get my hands on this guitar. Rick Harrison doesn't know how to resist stunning guitars that once belonged to famous musicians. And this Gibson from 1941 is a case in point. As soon as he heard Stephen Stills of the folk rock group Crosby, Stills, Nash used to play his songs on this beautiful instrument, he was all in. It was love at first sight, but Rick felt the guitar was too good to be true and invited the expert Jesse Amoroso to help him make a decision. He confirmed the guitar really belongs to Stills before answering the most pressing question. How much is it worth? Amoroso told Rick the vintage piece could be sold for at least $75,000 on its own. But the fact it was once owned by a bona fide folk legend made it even more valuable. He felt Stills' connection to this classic instrument could add another $20,000 to the selling price. 
Rick was ready to make a purchase after hearing his thoughts and offered $85,000 to the seller. Number 6. Paul Revere Silver Spoon It was made by Paul Revere. The British are coming! The British are coming! Does that say Revere on the back of it? Most people wouldn't spend more than a few bucks on a spoon, but Rick Harrison isn't most people. When a guy named Les walked into the store with a silver spoon that once belonged to Revolutionary War legend Paul Revere, the reality show star couldn't hide his excitement. If the seller's claim had merit, the piece of silverware he brought into the store was an important part of American history, and Rick definitely wanted to own it. He just had to make sure the spoon was actually Revere's design before throwing away thousands of dollars. History expert Dana Lynette came to the rescue and confirmed the spoon was made by one of the patriots in the American Revolution, who was also a dentist and a passionate silversmith. That was the moment when Rick realized this spoon should be in a museum and decided to do everything in his power to become its new owner. After tense negotiations, Les agreed to sell it for $9,500 and use the money to help out his daughter, who was getting ready to tie the knot. Number 5. Bell from a Shipwreck Is my 1602 Shipwreck Dutch East India Company Bell. I just love old shipwreck items. You can just imagine the journey they've been on. Rick and his old man are big history buffs, and they have a knack for the antiques found in shipwrecks, because it's always fun to imagine the journey they've been on. That's why they were impressed when a woman walked into their store with a Dutch East India Trading Company bell. But the old man wasn't sure it was authentic. He didn't want to make a purchase before consulting an expert, because the bell showed no signs of corrosion from seawater. Richard Sr. believed the bell would be in a worse shape if it really had spent a lot of time in seawater. But he was wrong this time around. The expert came in and confirmed the bell was real, and even expressed his belief it could sell for a huge amount of money after being put in one of the treasure auction catalogs. You could almost see the dollar signs in Rick's eyes after the expert confirmed that the bell was worth $15,000, if not more. Number 4. Dunhill Watch Lighter There are two things the gentlemen really enjoyed back in the 20s, smoking cigarettes and carrying their pocket watches. British brand Dunhill came up with a creative way to combine those two passions into one tiny item and created a brand of unique watch lighters. They were a status symbol not everyone could afford and perfectly captured the aesthetic of the Roaring Twenties. Dunhill was the first brands to ever incorporate a watch in their lighters, and when passionate collector George showed up to the store with a rare model from 1926, Big Haas didn't know how to say no to him. Both men seemed to know a lot about the lighter, and they weren't ready to let it go that easily. George wanted at least $60,000 in return for the item because he knew how rare and valuable it was. Corey agreed it was worth a fortune, but he wasn't ready to cash out that much. The seller eventually walked away with $4,000 because he realized the store had had to make a profit as well. Number three, gold bar from San Esteban. I buy gold from people every day, but I never have gold bars from a shipwreck walking to my shop. Vintage cars and fancy guitars aren't the only items capable of telling a captivating story. Even something as simple as a tiny golden bar has the power to take you back centuries into the past. And the fact Rick Harrison was ready to cash out $35,000 for one of them speaks volumes. He felt like a modern-day pirate while he was holding this small chunk of gold in his hands, especially after an expert confirmed it was actually a shipwreck treasure. The bar originated from from a Spanish cargo ship called the San Esteban. The vessel was destroyed in a storm all the way back in 1554 while delivering various items through the Gulf of Mexico. Around 300 people died in the process, leaving most of the precious cargo at the bottom of the sea. They probably thought no one would ever get a hold of it, but Rick Harrison proved them wrong and's got a tiny golden piece of naval history after cashing out $35,000. Number 2. 1932 Custom Ford Roadster The Harrisons never turned their back on a classic old-timer, and once Rick and Corey came across this Custom Ford Roadster from 1932, you could almost see their mouths watering. The father-son duo headed across town after the original owner invited them to check out his convertible. The two men immediately knew they had stumbled upon a gem. 
The car was in impeccable shape, and there was nothing the Harrisons didn't like about it. Apart from the asking price. The owner wanted $105,000 in return, and Rick knew he would not be able to cash out that much. Despite Ford's pristine condition, the Pawn Star knew there's no way in hell it's worth that much, and called in an expert to take a look. Danny Coker fell in love with the beautiful vehicle right away, but he had to agree with Rick on this one. The car expert placed its value at $70,000, and his words were music for Rick's ears, because it was significantly below the asking price. Number 1. One Kilo Gold Bars Classic old timers and guitars with rich history are usually the most attractive items the Harrisons have ever encountered, but that doesn't make them the most valuable. Gold is still one of the most precious metals in existence, and whenever someone walks into the world-famous gold and silver pawn shop carrying huge chunks of it, Rick and the gang are all ears. The title of the most expensive item ever bought in the show currently belongs to four one-kilo golden bars that came with a staggering price tag of $128,000. This seems like spending too much money on a single deal, but anyone familiar with Rick Harrison and his journey to stardom could have seen it coming from a mile away. The reality star went on the record saying that he invested 10% of his fortune into gold and silver, and called this move insurance policy. Thank you very much for watching today's video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more amazing content, and don't forget to check out one of the other two videos on your screen.